Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to insert background music into the games that you are creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you'll want to have Roblox Studio open and you'll want to choose the game that you are working on that you want to put the background music into. So I'm just going to start a new game here. And in order to add background music to your Roblox game, you're going to want to go over to the right hand side where you have Explorer and Properties and make sure you have those uh, two tabs open. And if you do not have them open, just go up to View and then click on Explore and Properties and that will bring these two tabs open. So I'm going to go over to my Explorer tab and I'm going to go down to Sound Service. I'm going to go ahead and click on Sound Service. And when I uh, have that selected, I want to click the Add button. And so I click that and now it's asking me what I would like to add. Now you can see uh, frequently used as sound and sound group. If you can't find those, just look up the word sound and you're going to click on sound. So I'd like to add a sound to the game. So now we've added a place to put the sound. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sound. So I'm in sound service. I just clicked on the sound that I just added. So it's highlighted. And now it brings up the properties on the bottom right hand side of the screen. And so you can see the different things that it uh, says and it has the name of the sound and uh, so forth. Um, but now the main thing we need to do is we need to give this a sound ID. You can see right now that sound ID is currently blank. And so sound ID is where we're actually going to insert the sound or the music uh, that you're going to put in the background. So in order to find a sound ID, what you're going to do is head on over to roblox.com and you're going to make sure you sign into your account and then you're going to want to click on create. And when you click on create, it should bring up your my creations. Um, as well as uh, your library. Next thing you want to do is click on library. And when you click on library, on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see you can choose different things in the library. I'm going to go ahead and click on audio. And now this, these are different sounds that I can uh, go ahead and add into my game. And many of them are free to use. And so uh, you can, you know, use this uh, play button right here to preview any of the sounds. So let's listen to this one. So that's a pretty cool sound. I actually found one earlier that I liked and it was called uh, Stepping Up, I think. And so now you can search for any audio that you would like. And so I found uh, this one here. And uh, this, this is the sound I like to use. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the sound. And then when you get to this page, you'll look up in the address bar and you'll see that there's a number. So roblox.com slash library. And then there's a number right after that. What I wanna do is highlight that number, control copy, um, or just copy it. You can right click and copy it as well. Um, and then once I have that number copied, that's the Roblox asset ID that you're going to want to paste into uh, your game. And so now let's go back to uh, Studio. And remember, we need to fill this in, this sound ID. Well, now we're just going to paste just the number. And now that number, and then when I click outside the number, you'll see it brought up the Roblox asset ID and then it inserted the number. Now, if I'd like to preview the sound, I can go ahead and click it here. So this will preview it. So you can hear what it sounds like. So this is more of like a, a dance song. And now I'd like to go ahead and play the game. Let's see if it worked. Okay, so I'm in the game, but I'm not hearing any music yet. So, um, so there's one more thing you need to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this. And so go ahead and click the sound. So again, we have sound service and then click on the sound that you added. And then go down, scroll down on the properties tab and you see you've got the sound ID. What you need to make sure is checked is right here where it says uh, playing. So go ahead and find where it says playing. Right, in, you have to click that. So go ahead and click that now. When you once you've clicked that, now it'll work. And I'm also going to click on looped because I like it to the song to loop or play over and over again. So I'm going to click on that too. Now let's go ahead and play the game and see if it worked. Okay, so we've got our Roblox game with our music inserted and added into the game. Um, so you can have uh, any background music um, that you would like in the game that you are creating. Now, of course, when you're over at roblox.com, uh, they have all these different uh, songs that you can choose from. And again, you can just spend a lot of time just going through I mean, 32,000 different audios in there. And so many of them are free to use. And um, so that's how you can play any of the songs that are already in Roblox. If you'd like to add your own music, 
uh, to your Roblox game. I have another video that covers that. I'll put a link to that around this video so you can check that out. Um, it's a little different than what we just did. One last thing, so when you're looking at the sound ID properties of the sound that you added, there are many things that you can change. And so you have a playback speed, so if you'd like the song to go faster or slower, you just increase that. So if you, if you put a 2 there, that means it's going to play twice as fast. That will also affect the pitch of the music too, so you want to think about that um, when you're doing the playback speed. Um, so if you do it faster, it's going to be higher uh, in sound. Um, if you do it slower, it's going to be lower. And uh, then you've got uh, different other, th other uh, options as well. So volume is another important aspect to the music that you add as a background. And uh, here you can go ahead and adjust the level. And so the higher the volume, um, the, the higher the number, the higher the volume, and the lower the number, the lower the volume. And again, you can just uh, play around with these different options you have with the sound that you inserted as your background music. You now know how to add background music into the Roblox games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.